action. All right, YouTube fans, this is a follow-up. Well, not necessarily a follow-up, but this is another in my series of homemade confetti cannons. This is a handheld confetti cannon. The uh, I was commissioned to make a version of my cannon, if you watch any of my other YouTube videos, but a handheld version. So here it is. I'm going to have my lovely uh, photographer come in and zoom in and show you how it works here. This is two two inch PVC pipe with a valve stem here. I fill it up. I've got a ball valve here and I filled this up to about 120, 130 PSI. And so some of you out there might be wondering why did I use a manual valve versus electronic valve? Well, first of all, it's a little cheaper and it always works. And you never have to have a dead battery. So that's why I, I stuck with the manual valve. So let's, uh, let's load it up and I'll show you how it works. The first thing and most important is go to confetti, confettiunlimited.com and you get all these supplies. This is a uh, plunger, or they call it a, a stopper. I'm going to push that all the way down to the bottom. And this is for two inch barrel from Confetti Unlimited. Load that in there. Minus the wrapper. Minus the wrapper. Now on their website they show that they have a cap that goes on top of this. I personally found that I've never needed it. Um, the only thing I could see it would do is keep the confetti from fall falling out, and I just hold it up. So here we go. We're going to do a test on it here. Let's see how it works. Are you ready? We zoomed in. Here we go. Handheld confetti cannon test number three with the confetti and the stopper. Three, two, one. Are we zooming in? That is I think cool. that's a pretty good amount of confetti, don't you think? Absolutely. All right, there we go.